welcome back everybody. We're on to day four. Well done making it day four. Nice days of rest yesterday. We've got five new exercises today. Flutter kicks, plunge press, and oh sorry, plunge press or a wall walk. We've got some tap crunches, floor thrusters with a push-up, and a hollow body arch to arch roll with or without a beer. So today is fun. Today is lots of fun. We're gonna have some fun. Okay, let's go. First exercise, flutter kicks. So what we're going to do, this is going to be for beginner and for um, advanced version. You're going to lay back in your hollow body hold position, okay? So we've got our hollow body hold position there. Remember, we start from the start. And all you're going to do is legs go up and down. Lower back, stays pressed into the ground, hands behind, okay? That would be your advanced version. If you need to modify it slightly, you can bring the hands, put the hands on the side, Keep the legs going, but lower back stays on the ground. If you need a little bit more modification, you stay down there, okay? And you can lift one leg up, put it down. One leg up, put it down. Or keep both up and do one at a time. One at a time, one at a time. First prize, behind, and you're gonna just flood the legs. That's your first exercise. Second exercise, plunge press or a wall walk okay let's talk about the plunge press first so basically it's a push-up into a downward dog so we're going to start in your push-up position yep there's your push-up position nice hands beneath the shoulders or engage nice straight line from the back of the head to the feet from the push-up position you're going to push up push the bum up into the air into the down dog position and you're going to come back down we're going to push up, bum goes up, and you go back down. Okay, simple enough. So from the push-up position, feet, hands, stay in place, stretch it out, bum goes up, nice behind the air, and you come back down to the push-up position. When you come down, don't drop it without doing the downward dog. You stop at the push-up position, the high plank position, and you're going to go up there. High plank, and into a downward dog position. Cool. If that's too easy for you, we're going to try some wall walks. Okay. Let's just go over to the wall. Okay. So, try this before, if you're going to do it in the main exercise. Okay. Try this a few times before. Okay. What we're going to do, get your feet flat against the wall and you're going to go flat down okay hands on the side here flat down basically sole of the feet against the wall from here i want you to go into a downward dog position okay so bum goes nice and high in the air and then you lift your feet up and walk the hands in walk the hands in as close the aim is to get the nose to touch the wall and then control and back down. Okay. So when you're going up, importantly, try and get the nose to touch the wall. Your thighs shouldn't be touching the wall. So don't just collapse your thighs against the wall. You want to try and get your nose. So watch again. Watch the thighs. Watch my nose. So we start flat. Cool. We go into the down and down position. Step it up. Step it up. Walk the hands in. Walk the hands in, thighs not touching the wall. You're trying to get the nose to touch the wall. Go, bring it out, walk it forward, walk it forward, flat down. Okay, so that's the wall walk. Try this a few times if you want to do this in the main workout. Try this a few times before you do the actual workout. Cool, we're back here. Exercise number three tap crunches. So it's a similar, we did some jack naps in day one, we did some crunches, I think day three. So we are here, okay, hollow body hold position. What you're gonna do, you're gonna come up, hold it there, one, two, and back out. Important, when you're coming up, your lower back is still on the ground. So from there, with the hollow body hold position starting, you bring your 
feet in, bring the shoulders off the ground, touch, hold in position, one, two, extend it out. Your lower back stays on the ground, push it against the ground, one, two, and out. One, two, and out. Simple enough. Okay, that's exercise number three with jack crunches. Exercise number four, we're going to do a floor thrust with a push up. So you've got two options here. Let's go beginner, complete beginner version. So we're going to start in your high plank push up position. Okay, you can step the right leg in, step the left leg in, with a nice deep squat there. You step it out, you step it out, put the knees down, push up, come back up. High again. Step the right leg in, step the left leg in, in a nice deep squat there, hands stay down. Step the right leg out, left leg out, oops, off the knees, and push up. So, that's your complete beginner version. Alternatively, second, you can do. From here, we're gonna jump in, when you jump it in, when you jump it into a squat. You jump it in, feet land flat, okay? Hands stand it down, feet land flat, we in that squat. You jump it out, put the knees down, and do a push up. Pick it up, jump it in, feet land flat on the ground. You jump it out, knees down, you do a push up. Or complete advance, complete intermediate. We're gonna go there, start in your high plank push up position. Jump it in, feet flat, jump it out, push up, up. Jump it in. Jump it out, push up, big. Good. Exercise number four, done. Woo, let me get a break. Exercise number five, hollow body roll, and we're gonna, so hollow body hold, and we're gonna go to an arch roll. Okay. So, we're back to the hollow body hold. So we hollow body hold every day. All right. So what we're gonna do, start in our hollow body hold, while you're in that hollow body hold, I want you to roll over without your feet or out your hands touching the ground. Okay? So, we're in this hollow body hold here. I'm going to roll towards you. Over. There. Okay? And then you're going to roll back. My feet are up. I'm in that hollow body. My hands are up. Watch. My feet or my hands don't touch the ground. And you're gonna come up there. Okay, so that one's not easy, it's gonna take a lot of practice. Okay, so it's a hollow body hold, hands behind, and you're gonna roll over without the feet or the hands touching the ground. That's your beginner version. Advanced version, you're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna add a jack knife and straight head jack knife. Okay, so we here, hollow body, okay. We're gonna roll over, watch the feet, watch my hands. Don't touch, check knife. Don't touch, check knife, and we're gonna go back. Day four, lots of fun. Let's get to the workout.